oxygen need is worldwide. Need for oxygen has just really skyrocketed with the pandemic. U of A professor of pediatrics Michael Hawks is leading a project to save lives in countries such as Uganda and Somalia by inventing a solar-powered oxygen system. Pneumonia is actually the leading cause, the number one cause of child death in the world. We're talking 900,000 deaths in children under five. And um, main treatment for pneumonia, and just in broad strokes, is oxygen and antibiotics. Hawk says in some parts of the world, power outages are quite frequent and could be deadly for those in need of oxygen. So his team created solar-powered oxygen as a solution. It's designed to capture enough solar energy during the daytime to last through the night. The system was first tested in Uganda. He says before it was implemented, about 5.5% of children admitted to hospital would die. After, mortality rates dropped to 3.2%, a 35% drop, saying this tech could be tweaked to work on adults as oxygen supplies have run low in some parts of the world during the pandemic. So I wouldn't want to, um, to say that ours is a one-size-fits-all for everybody, but certainly does provide that solution for the, for the, for the hospital that's a little bit remote, a little bit rural, poor, poor electricity supply. The life-saving intervention is a collaboration between the World Health Organization and the Canadian not-for-profit Grand Challenges Canada. But it also is a critical um, part of a functioning health system. So this is something that will benefit the populations for forever afterwards. This is not just something that'll be good in COVID times. They're hoping to expand solar oxygen to other parts of Africa and Asia. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.